The Last of Us 2 Factions, Release Date, Story, Setting, More The Last of Us Part 2 is a 2020 action-adventure video game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. It is the sequel to 2013's The Last of Us and follows Ellie, a young woman in her mid-twenties living in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by dangerous creatures infected by a mutated strain of the cordyceps fungus. Players control Ellie as she embarks on a quest for revenge against those who wronged her. The game features intense combat sequences with an array of weapons, as well as an expansive open world to explore. Additionally, it features an emotionally charged story that deals with themes such as loss, trauma, and the consequences of violence. The Last of Us Two Factions features a new cast of characters and takes place in an entirely new location. Naughty Dog's Neil Druckmann confirmed this info during Summer Games Fest 2022, where he also revealed the first concept art of this upcoming project. The concept art also confirmed the setting of The Last of Us Two Factions. As you may have guessed by the Golden Gate Bridge in the background, factions take place in San Francisco, or at least, a part of it takes place there. Druckmann also briefly touched on the scope and size of the project during his segment at the Summer Games Fest 2022. It's as big as any of our single-player games and in some ways bigger, he said. It's got a story. The way we're telling that story is unique to this game. The Last of Us Two Factions features a new cast of characters and takes place in an entirely new location. Naughty Dog's Neil Druckmann confirmed this info during Summer Games Fest 2022, where he also revealed the first concept art of this upcoming project. The concept art also confirmed the setting of The Last of Us Two Factions. As you may have guessed by the Golden Gate Bridge in the background, factions take place in San Francisco, or at least, a part of it takes place there. Druckmann also briefly touched on the scope and size of the project during his segment at the Summer Games Fest 2022. It's as big as any of our single-player games and in some ways bigger, he said. It's got a story. The way we're telling that story is unique to this game. Official details about the game are few and far between, so for now we're going to quote Neil Druckmann directly. What I can tell you is that this game is big, Druckmann said. It's as big as any of our single-player games, and in some ways bigger. It's got a story, the way we're telling that story is very unique to this game. It's got a brand new cast of characters, it takes place in another part of the United States. It's really cool and it's being headed by Vineet Agarwal, Anthony Newman and Joe Pettinati, all veterans of Uncharted and The Last of Us. While not confirmed, The Last of Us Factions 2 could be a free-to-play experience. Earlier this year, Naughty Dog was hiring for a monetization-slash-economy designer, which suggested a microtransaction-centric monetization model that resembles freemium titles. In all honesty, Factions 2 as a free-to-play title would make a lot of sense. It could be huge, considering the popularity of the Last of Us franchise. It could also fill the void of a AAA free-to-play first-party title that generates constant revenue for PlayStation. In an interview with Julian Cheese, PlayStation's Hermann Hulst revealed that future PlayStation live service titles might come day and date on PC and PS5. The Last of Us Part 1 remake is already on its way to PC, and Factions 2 could be even bigger, given the platform's popularity with freemium and live service titles. The Last of Us Part 2 is a 2020 action-adventure game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment for the PlayStation 4. Set five years after The Last of Us, 2013, the game focuses on two playable characters in a post-apocalyptic United States whose lives intertwine, Ellie, who sets out in revenge for a murder, and Abby, a soldier who becomes involved in a conflict between her militia and a religious cult. The game uses a third-person perspective, the player must fight human enemies and cannibalistic zombie-like creatures with firearms, improvised weapons, and stealth.